Hanaki! Did you know that our souls are connected by fate? What do you know? I'm Yuno Hanaki from Production Kawaii's Hana Mizuki. Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> well, Hanaki, welcome! Sorry I took another sec. <laughs> I had to get water. Because my cough has come back a little bit. Um, my voice is okay. Don't worry. My throat is also okay. I just, I've got a really bad cough still. <laughs> um, so I need water to try and cut it down a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, that's something else that's also exciting is we hit 10k. Um, we hit 10k on two, well, I guess it was Wednesday, Onigashima time. Because <laughs> it was like 1 a.m. I had been trying to go to bed, but then I saw how close it was to 10k, so I was like, well, I guess I have to stay up now. So I did. Um, and I stayed up through the through the night until it hit. <laughs> First stream since hitting the big 1-0, how you feeling? Um, it doesn't feel any different. At least not right now. <laughs> um, I am planning a celebration stream. Um, probably going to be next week. Uh, management at the least is prepared for it to be sometime next week. I just have to run the date by them. Make sure that that can be all set up. But yeah, it's it's crazy. I can't believe. <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like it happened. I look at my channel and I'm just like, yeah, this is just a channel. And I, d I don't, like, register the number, I guess. At least not anymore. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, uh, wow. 10k, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> It feels surreal. I think when I do the actual celebration stream and I literally, like, cry into uh, whatever I'm going to be consuming to celebrate, um, that'll probably be when it, like, really registers for me. But for right now, um, it just it just feels like an ordinary day. Probably also helps that I'm playing Symphonia, which is, like, a comfort game. So I'm just like, I don't know, it's just, it's just a day. <laughs> Hitting 10k at 1am on a random weekday night. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <coughs> it was like almost exactly 1 a.m. That was the crazy thing. <laughs> I didn't, um, I don't, I think I can talk about it. But like, <laughs> we, we, uh, we as in me and management, I caught it at 10,001. And also I think, uh, someone else in management sent a screenshot at 10,001 and then... <laughs> And then they purposefully unsubscribed so they could get the screenshot of the clean 10,000 and then they resubscribed afterwards. And I was just like, please. <laughs> please, what if you did that and it ruined the number? What if you did that and it went backwards by too many? <laughs> it was very funny. Uh, but we do have a clean screenshot of the 10,000 now. So that's that's fun. That's fun and cool. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I am really excited about it. I'm looking forward to the celebration next week, too, among everything else that we'll be doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I mean! What if it had gone back to 9,000? <laughs> that was such a risky play on their part, but I'm glad it worked out. Anyway. We are going to be getting back into Symphonia. I'm excited. <laughs> We are making our way through. I think we're like more than two thirds, I would say. But we still have a while left, plus all the side quests and stuff we still have to do. Um, so we've got we've got some time, but we've made quite a bit of progress. I'm looking forward to uh more gaming. <laughs> um, once we get closer to actual end game, there might be a time where I have a longer stream of Symphonia to like finish it up. But, uh, right now, I think we're still a bit of a ways off before I have to start doing that. Mm -mm. So we're gonna go ahead and load in. What happened last time? Okay, so, uh, we... The car laundry messed up and we had to fix the situation. Um, because we had been trying to get the tree to, to germinate, to, like, grow. Uh, and that was not the right move. 
So what ended up happening was um, it got too big and it ended up destroying like a lot of Silverot. It like was taking out towns and buildings and all of that sort of thing. Uh, and we were like, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. And so Kratos was like, hey, you guys messed up. And told us that we had to uh, try and stop the Carlandri from getting so much mana. And the best way that we thought of to do that was to hit it with like a counter mana. Because every summon spirit has an opposite. So since it was getting fed by a lot of the Silverot mana from the awakened summon spirits in Silverot, we had the thought of getting the Tetheala summon spirits to fire their mana at it and try and cancel the energy out. The best way to do that was to go to the abandoned mana cannon that Rhode Isle had been trying to use and then fire it at the Carlon tree. Um, so we split into groups, or well, groups. I say I say groups, but Sheena got left behind to handle the mana cannon. And then the rest of us were told to go to the Silverot Human Ranch because the Human Ranch was still using uh, mana and it needed to be taken care of so that it wouldn't uh, be causing issues with the uh, uh, Carlon tree anymore. So we had to finally go back to the Isalia Human Ranch and beat up for Cestus. <laughs> but Kratos came with us. We got to fight alongside Kratos again for the first time in a while. Um, so we went and we took down for Cestus uh, and we took care of the Human Ranch and rescued the people who were captured there. And we also found out that Colette has some sort of weird crystallization going on on her body. She has been hiding it from us for a long time, at least from the sound of it. Um, Lloyd obviously doesn't mind that she's going through this and just wants to help her, but she is very ashamed of it and doesn't really know what to do. And a lot of people don't really seem to know what to do, except for maybe Kratos, but Kratos is uh, a man who is choosing to keep his secrets, which is annoying. Please, Kratos, let us help her. <laughs> Um, but we had to come back to Isalia when she passed out, because we needed to take her home. Um, and then the mayor was like, hey, you guys are banished, why are you back? You, got, you keep causing problem after problem. And he was, like, being, like, a jerk to us and, like, the rest of the people in our party. And then the townspeople were like, hey, mayor, you're kind of being a jerk, actually. And then they all kind of ganged up on him and were like, can you stop being so annoying? They're literally kids. Um, so he ran with his tail between his legs. And now we are accepted back into Isalia. And that was where we left off. Um, Rain ran off, I think, crying for some reason. So I think we have to go find Rain next. Mm -mm. Has it really been 43 hours since you started? Since I started the game? Uh, that's 43 hours of playtime. Did you see the yellow time underneath that? I've been playing the game for three minutes. <laughs> 10k congratulations thank you i'm very happy <laughs> but yeah uh total gameplay time is now at 43 hours even smiles <laughs> well 4301 i shouldn't have said that anyway yep 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 this game's long i believe I think I've said this before, but I think on the back of the GameCube version, it says that the estimated time is like, or well, it says that there's like 60 hours of content, like 60 to 80, depending on how, how like thorough you are. So we're about like, depending on your judgment, two thirds or like maybe not even half, depending. But yeah. But it doesn't feel like it's been 43 hours. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. Well, that's the beauty of this game. It is good. Yeah, thank you for the congrats. I can't play for only 10% of the way through. I wish. If I could play this game forever, I would. Keep in mind, playtime doesn't include deaths. We pretend not to see it, okay? Don't worry about it. Hi, Rain. Professor, what is it? No, it's nothing... Just... no. No, never mind. Hmm? Perhaps this village has some hope left for it after all. I was really looking forward to you chewing out the mayor. I'm not stupid enough to waste my time lecturing pigs. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well, well, my apologies. Okay, she's back. Hi, Rain. 
<laughs> I can't believe we aren't close to the end, but then again, it felt like close to the end when you were still doing regeneration stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. It tricks you like that. Mm -mm. Small first step. I'm so glad the people of the village accepted you, Genus. But the mayor... Just leave idiots like him alone. There's always stubborn people like that. All we can do is just work to change those around us little by little. Then Isalia was our first little step. For me, it was a great leap forward. Huh? Did you say something? N no, it's nothing. Aw, Rain probably dealt with so much crap when she was younger and first came to this town with baby Genus. I can only imagine. <laughs> we don't get enough JRPG seems to be the only type of game I enjoy these days. I feel you. But I feel like JRPGs are kind of starting to, uh... They're trying to make a resurgence because people are trying to innovate them more. But I can't help but still love the classics, too. <laughs> Is it my fault? Do you mean Colette? If I hadn't made that key crest, Colette wouldn't have wound up like this. And instead, she would still have no heart. No, if you hadn't saved her, Colette would have been killed by Crucius, as a tool for Martel's resurrection. Well, that's true, but... I don't want there to be any sacrifices. I don't want anyone to suffer. That way of thinking is not wrong. But you must deal with the frustration of the fact that sometimes you are forced to make a choice. Lloyd, take responsibility for the choices you have made. You're too harsh, Professor. The reason I say such harsh things is that I believe that you will overcome them. You are strong, Lloyd. Why did she have to say that when he was gone? What if I just cry? <laughs> They're so soft. I ask you about that questionable thumbnail. <laughs> well, I couldn't get a proper... Uh, image of the Carlon tree, but the idea was supposed to be that I'm telling you in that if we want to deal with the fact that Martella is stuck in the Carlon tree, that I could just cut her out with the hedge trimmers. <laughs> well, that was something else, too. Part of the reason why Yuen had us do what we did to get the Carlon tree to germinate was hoping that it would free Martell from inside of it because her soul, her soul is trapped inside the seed, I guess. Um,. That didn't work, though. She just ended up more trapped. <laughs> and, like, in pain. Because all the energy was hurting her. Hopefully she's okay now. But, yeah. Uh, Krathos is gone. Where are you, buddy? Do we have a specific destination in mind now? Oh, okay, we have to go to the entrance. Fair enough. <laughs> Understandable. Never mind. Oh, there they are. Clint, are you alright now? Yes, I think. I'm sorry for making everyone worry. I have accepted a request from Phydra and Frank to escort the Chosen to your father's house. To Dad's house? Why? Grandmother sa said that dwarves know the most about Crucius crystals. I see. Yeah, they probably do. Then I'll go with you. I should visit Dad every once in a while. Yes, you do that. After I deliver the Chosen, I will return to Crucius. What about Sheena? I requested a message be sent. She should rejoin you soon. Gotcha. Then let's go back to Dad's place. Ah, 
how Borsius' guy was a little different from the other five Grand Cardinals. He was a design hero who once killed every member of a group of humans that were leading a massacre of half-elves. A hero. It is said that he was full of knightly virtue, kind to his companions, and a fierce god of death to his enemies. From a human point of view, he's a horrible villain, but to the half-elves, he must have been a true hero. Yes, that is why war is so tragic. To win means to make victims of your opponents and give birth to hatred. If Forsesis had been born in a world where we accepted each other, we might have been able to get along. Yes, perhaps so. I don't remember that skit. I wonder if that's something that they added as part of the PS2 version? Curious. I really like the art style in this game. It's really nice. I do quite like it. How much of the dwarven techniques did your father inherit? How much? All of it, I guess. The dwarves who chose not to join Crucius lost a variety of skills in exchange for their freedom. Your father is almost certainly one of those survivors. You see, so that's why Dad and Altessa don't know the same things. The Chosen's illness may be beyond Dirk's ability to cure. No. Don't say that when we're right about to talk to him. Jeez. Oh I will beat you up, Kratos. Dad! How have you been? Were you affected by the earthquake? So glad I don't have to voice this part. I just want to drink my water. This area is on top of hard bedrock. Everything is fine. So true. Dirk, we are here by the request of Colette's family. They wish for you to help her. Didn't the character artist pass away last week? Um, no. It was one of the other character artists. So Tails is known for having two main artists. Uh, one is Kosuke Fujishima, I believe. And then the one that passed away last week was uh, Inumara. Inumara-san. Um, she did the art for games like Destiny and Destiny 2, so like that kind of art style. Uh, Kosuke Fujishima has done a lot of the art for the more modern Tales games, the more recent ones. Um, his style is kind of more associated with Tales, at least in the West, because a lot of the Fujishima games were the ones that were localized. <laughs> but yes, one of the Tales artists did pass away recently. It's very unfortunate. But the one who at least did the art for this game, um, I believe he's still alive. Mm -mm. I'm afraid even if Crucius Crystals are an evolved form of X-Sphere, I still don't know the first thing about them. And it'd be a better idea to ask a dwarf over in that Tethyala place. Oh, so even you don't know anything about these. The disappointed little O. He's like, my, I thought my dad knew everything. I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. At least stay here for the night to get some rest. I must politely decline. <laughs> Kratos is like, I think I won't. Bye. Ah, uh, all right. Wait, are you really going back to Crucius? Yeah. I am an angel of Crucius. Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders? To leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martell was not lost. That goes along with Yggdrasil's wishes. Hmm. It's true, then. You really are our enemy. <coughs> I mean, enemy is a strong word. Lloyd. What? What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Karlon War. Remember the words of the Unicorn at Lake Umasi. Wait, why are you with Crucius when you're a human? Bye. <laughs> what is he trying to do? Refuses to elaborate. He's a malicious compliance type of guy. Kratos? 
Yeah, I can kind of see that. <laughs> he is quite loyal to Crucius still, but... Yeah. He can be a little bit malicious as well. Hi, Sheena. Hey, wasn't that Kratos just now? Sheena! Yeah, he returned to Crucius. The tone changed. He was so excited about Sheena for like two seconds. <laughs> the words of the unicorn at Lake of Lunacy. No, it was Umasi. Umasi. <laughs> I see. So he really is our enemy. Yeah. But anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah. Yippee. Oh, hi, Zelos. I bet you lived a crappy hard life so far, huh? <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> Tails, my beloved. Hi, Hiyori! Welcome! Gee, you sure know how to cheer someone up, don't you? <laughs> the nostalgia hits so good. Mm. Yeah, I haven't been able to replay this game for a long time, so the fact that I've been able to play it on stream has been really, really fun. I love them so much, my kids. <laughs> well, don't worry about it too much. So now what? Aren't you at your wit's end right about now? Why do you say that? The giant tree, which we thought was all good, goes nuts. <laughs> Our cute little Colette comes down with some funky cold. Some funky cold? That's... okay. <laughs> it's just human nature to start getting tired of it all. He has a point, but why does he have to word it like that? I'm never gonna give up. I'm never gonna let you down. I'm never gonna run around and desert you. <laughs> Enjoy your luck, Hiyori! If I quit, I'll never be able to face all the people who've suffered because of what I've done. <laughs> so I'm gonna fight to the very end. I can't give up. <laughs> Tragic news, the person you hate most makes a good point. I don't hate Zelos the most. <laughs> Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Well, but I guess that's what I dig about you. you. That's what you dig? Okay, he said it, not me. He said it, not me. He said it. He said it. Pointing at the screen. <laughs> I don't hate Zelos the most. Well, yeah, I don't. That's the thing. The problem is what to do now. We need to know how the two worlds were forced apart. Before we can figure out a way to save them. Hmm. How the worlds were forced apart. I wonder about that too, but... I also want to know why you've Drassiel split the world in two. <laughs> Let your fanfic brought in mind rest. No. I won't. Thanks. Don't you think it was to protect the Great Sea? To protect Martell? But because the worlds were pulled apart, that phase thing got shifted. And the Great Sea became unstable, right? Hmm. And that's not really protecting her. That's more like putting her in danger. He's got a point. Why are we putting her in danger? Don't be silly, Eudrasiel. Lloyd, you manage to say something intelligent every now and then. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Every now and then? Jeez, that's harsh. At least you laugh about it. The who, why, and how. That's what we need to know. Right now, all we know is who. I'm not really good at using my head to figure out stuff like this. In your case, you'd be better off not trying to use your head. Then use what? Are you saying I'm stupid? <laughs> oh, Lloyd, stop taking things I'm saying so negatively. What I meant was, you act based on your senses. Hmm. 
senses? You mean I just react without thinking? No, it's more like instinct. You subconsciously collect and store various external information. That's why when the time comes, you always manage to find the next path to take. She has been observing him for such a, for such a long time. She understands him in such a unique way. Not by logic, but by intuition. Intuition, huh? It still sounds like it means I don't think. <laughs> Fine, take it that way if you want. You never seem to accept my compliments gracefully. That's because you have a twisted way of complimenting people, especially when it's me. That's because it's you. <laughs> what is their dynamic? What are they? Huh? You'll understand when you're an adult. When I'm an adult? I'm already 17, you know. Oh, yes, you're such a big grown up, aren't you, Lloyd? You're such a grown up. Big man out here doing taxes at 17. Get out of here. Your mental age is lower than Gina's. <laughs> oh my gosh. You don't have to come for his throat like that. You just said you were trying to compliment him. Are you saying I'm the equivalent of a ten-year-old? <laughs> you still haven't noticed, have you? Oh well, it's fine. One day you'll become an adult and you'll understand. It probably won't be much longer. <laughs> I don't know. Am I really still a child? From my point of view, They're so baby. He goes with the flow and usually ends up catching every peer. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Let's go see Altessa for Colette. Yes, regardless of whether or not we trust Kratos' words, we better return to Tethiala for now. Can we trust him, though? We don't have any other leads. All we can do is keep on going. Yippee! Wahoo! Every child- everyone is a child in your view, Rain. She's not a grandma! She's only like 23. That is not grandma age. She's literally a baby. I'm going the wrong way. Well, actually, I wanted to see something. Can I start this freaking quest yet? Actually, I don't think I can. I'm not sure. But I want to believe. Oh, I'm still on the wrong side. <laughs> Me trying to read the map. But is your body okay? Yes, I'm sorry to worry you. I see. That's good then. I wonder if... Hmm? If this is a punishment. Because I quit the world regeneration. Nonsense! You suffered through all that all by yourself. How could anyone want to punish that? Thank you, Lloyd. Just like, it's okay, Colette, you have trauma. You're allowed to be... <laughs> You're allowed to not do it. You know the type of Oni to try and read the map but is holding it upside down the whole time? Hey! That's not entirely true. I'm pretty good at directions. I just happen to be looking in the wrong direction. When can I start this freaking quest? I don't remember how to start it. This might have to be something I have to get a guide for. Because I could have sworn it just would be, like, available. Maybe it's just not yet. Okay. Well, I checked what I needed to check. <laughs> but no, really, I'm not that bad at directions. It's because in my brain I was like, okay, go to Tefeala, but then I, my brain was also like, but I wanted to check on that other thing. 
So, like, as you can see, I had multiple destinations in my brain. So that's why I got it wrong. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, I'll test this place. That's this way. you say yes whatever I say. Correct. What I say goes. And the streamer. You. If you're back here in Tetheola, then the world must be... Actually... I see. So that's what caused the massive earthquake the other day. Was there damage on this side too? It seems that the other regions were not greatly affected but there were landslides and falling rocks in this area and because of that Mythos was Hey! Mythos, what happened? You're hurt! Uh, this is... It's okay. I'm fine now. Did you see the boulders outside? The other day there was a massive earthquake and the boulders fell toward me. Mythos saved me, but he was hurt instead. I see. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah. That's really impressive the way you protected Tabitha like that, Mythos. You saved us before, too. You're a really nice guy, Mythos. Uh, not really. Mythos is a kind person. Yeah, he helped us find Rain when she disappeared, too. You're awesome, Mythos. Thank you. A nice guy. Hmm. Regarding Colette's illness, it's most likely chronic angelus crystallis and officium. Cr chronic angelus? Rejection of the crystal is said to occur in one out of every million people. But I've heard that knowledge of the cure was lost long ago. If you could find records from the ancient war, then perhaps... So it all comes back to the ancient war. But where do we go to find records of it? There's an archive building in Cybac that is dedicated to the history of Mythos. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I've heard of that. Oh, yes, I do know about that. An archive building... I wonder if it will be of any use. If you like, I can show you around there. Yeah, that'd be great. You just want to go with me, those. <laughs> well, I guess an archive building will be safe enough. Sure, let's go together. <laughs> you just want to go with me, those. Yeah, he wants to go with his friend. Will our girl be alright? That is the question, isn't it? Will she be okay? <laughs> we can save her? I mean, we're gonna try! Look at them all huddled around a book. It's so cute. They're so cute. Materials pertaining to Mythos and his companions are on display in this area. Hey, take a look at this. What's up? One of Mythos' companions was afflicted with a disease that crystallizes the body. Now that sounds the same as Colette. Colette is sick? Uh, yeah, a little. What happened to that person? It seems it was cured. Then there is a way to cure it, just as Altessa said. I hope the technique hasn't been lost. So what's the cure? This is a unicorn saved the maiden. 
Is that the unicorn horn that we got at Lake Gumasi? You mean the one that Rain used to learn new healing arts? <laughs> Look at all these dirts reading books. You gotta! We have to do the research to learn how to save our sick friend. If so, then we already know that those healing arts can't help Colette. I wonder if the unicorn itself is necessary. Now that you mention it, the unicorn did say he lived for healing Martel's sickness or something like that. Sheena's reading the book upside down. Well, maybe it's just one of her ninja techniques. <laughs> it's just as Kratos said. Remember the unicorn's words. I wonder who Kratos really is. What are you talking about? He's a traitor. What are you going to do if you trust him and wind up regretting it? Oh man. A ninja technique dedicated solely to reading upside down? Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> poll time? Do you guys want to poll? I can make it a poll if you want. Okay, one sec. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Stark a poll. <laughs> <laughs> There's your poll, children. Kratos has never steered us wrong except for the times he did. <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Technically, he never fully steered us wrong. He was just always steering us in a direction. He was always trying to get us to go in a direction that he wanted us to go in. I don't think he ever necessarily lied, as far as I can remember. <laughs> Wait a minute, that second option? What do you mean? What? What's wrong with it? It's just an option. <laughs> second option is bait. Purple is not lame. No, that's not what it means. It means that he is both lame and purple. <laughs> They're two separate traits. Doesn't matter what you think of as purple. Just, he's also lame. <laughs> he's misled us more than once? Mm. I mean, he's also given us information to, like, fix things, too, though. I can't think of a time he actually gave us information that led us astray. If anything, he just withholds information. But purple equals cool, so he'd even out as normal? Hmm. I suppose I see what you mean. Do you think the color purple is lame? Because I love it. My image color is literally purple. So no, I don't think it's lame. It was just a joke. <laughs> Guys, please. I'm not calling purple lame. I just finished saying it's two separate things. He is lame, and then he is also purple. But no, I don't think purple is lame. <laughs> I actually like purple quite a bit. Since he left the party, he's given us mostly useful information even if he leaves out important details. I think even when he was in the party, like when we were still going through the journey of regeneration, I think besides withholding information, there wasn't really like... At least to me, I don't think there were really any um, moments of him, like, giving us wrong information. It's 
far as I know. Like, he was always quite knowledgeable. <laughs> I don't hate purple! Please! I like purple a lot. It's a very pretty color. Especially pastel purple. Very nice. Purple good. That said, it could be an issue of, like, lying by omission. Prado's probably planned for us to not trust him anyway. I suppose that's true. I think he didn't really... Ne I think he never really wanted them to get attached to him. Because he knew he was going to have to pull this at some point. I'd trust Kratos because he's helped us out too much so far to do us wrong now. I would... Uh, yeah, I mean... I feel like he is surprisingly helpful for someone who is supposed to be on the opposing side. <laughs> I also think that, like, um... Like, Ewan is in a similar boat as Kratos, and we trust Ewan. Because, like, Ewan's also part of Crucius but is also, like, leading the renegades. Like, he does his own thing just as much as Kratos does, but it just seems like Kratos has slightly more loyalty towards Yggdrasil for reasons undisclosed. So I don't know. I feel like the two of them are, like, in a similar spot of, like, they are working for the enemy, but we, but we can also trust them because they're trying to go against the enemy at the same time. <laughs> I see. So Kratos really is our enemy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically. Plus, I want to raise Kratos' relationship. He's not here, but I know he's watching. <laughs> That's fair. Although it looks like... Um, it looks like he's lame and purple is going to win. It's at 62% right now. <laughs> Socrates really is our enemy. Such is democracy. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think I will call the poll here. Because I don't want to spend too long on it. But it looks like... Yeah, it looks like, uh, Laban Purple <laughs> wins. <laughs> okay. It be like that. Thank you for voting. There is a possibility. But let's test it before we start worrying whether it's true or not. Yeah, we can only do what we can. Lloyd, you're strong. You think so? How can you be so positive when there may be a trap and only darkness may lie up ahead? I think it's because my friends will help me. If I was alone, I think I would have already been crushed by the weight of the burden. I do wish I had friends like that. You're our friend now, right? Yeah, you're one of Lloyd's friends. Although, you may catch his stupidity. Hey, a genus! <laughs> yeah, I really envy you. But, how can we find more information on the Carlon War? I've heard that the royal family has compiled and stored most of the materials concerning Mythos and the Carlon War. During the Carlon War, Mikos did have various interactions with the rulers. So it's Mount Tokyo then. But the Pope will be breathing but the Pope will be breathing down our necks. It's dangerous. We don't have the luxury of complaining about that now. Yeah, we'll head for Mount Tokyo. But you should go back, Mikos. Anyway, we'll take Mikos back in. It's fine. I can go back myself. But it's fine. Don't you need to hurry? 
And if you're going to and you're going to be infiltrating the castle, right? So be careful. Yeah. Okay then guys, let's go. Did they all really believe him? Zealous is out here like, is nobody suspicious of this guy who keeps feeding us information? Need I remind you, he's purple. Everyone's just like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Zealous is the only one in the party who's like, played FNAF and is, like, scared of purple guy or whatever. <laughs> L plus ratio plus your lame plus your purple. True. True. I was like, oh, I hit skip, right? And I forgot that it was gonna do this part. <laughs> This is the money. Yep, it's all there. <laughs> How long before the king is dead? Probably another another month or so with this poison. It takes a while. I've been told to make it look like he died from an illness. It's slow, but he'll die for sure. Tell his eminence the Pope to wait just a little bit longer. I see. I knew there was something wrong when the normally healthy king got sick. <laughs> did you ever watch the FNAF movie? I did! I did watch it. <laughs> it was a pretty good movie. I quite liked it. What are we gonna do, Lloyd? Isn't it obvious? If we save the king, he'll be in our debt. Let's go. Why can't they just say that they'll save him? <laughs> Who's there? It's the Chosen. Bro is talking so loud about something they needed to keep secret. They really are. They're like, no one will overhear us in this sewer. That definitely isn't utilized by the Chosen regularly. Damn, it's Zelos. What? You, Varley. Damn. I can't have people knowing about the assassination. Die here. Be quiet. I won't forgive you. Rubble, 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 rubble. Okay, good. She got the final hit on him. I'm going to die here. You've... Got to be kidding me. I'm going to die here like that damned Alicia. Don't insult Alicia. So he was the link between the Pope and Rodile of the Five Grand Cardinals. The Pope is connected to Kuchinawa as well. The ex here is in Tethiala passed from Varley to Rodile. Any experiments related to the Crucius Crystals were passed from Rodile to Varley, and ultimately to the Pope. Was this fight always skipped? I think so? It does feel like it skipped what should have been a fight, though. Huh. I wonder. I don't really remember if I ever had to fight Varley in the GameCube version. It doesn't ring a bell. The Pope probably asked them to assassinate the king in exchange for his cooperation. Insolence. Alright, let's get the Pope. <laughs> let's get him. That's the mimic, I think. Chosen Sickness. I've never even heard of Colette's illness before. Yes, it's only briefly mentioned in Mythos' records. 
I wonder if any of the other Chosen who embarked on the World Regeneration encountered the same disease. Among the Chosen who died along the way, there may have been some who suffered from it. The Chosen is always the one who suffers. We must do something to save that innocent girl. <laughs> Regal is so soft. Every skit Regal is in is a blessing. He's a very pretty man. I do agree. I finally accomplished my goal of so many years. What will you do now? For the sake of Lloyd and the others who aided me in my revenge. And for Alicia's sake as well. I shall assist in what meager ways I can to, elim to eliminate Cru Crucius. Yes. Defeating Varley does not mean that everything is over. In fact, it may just be the beginning. Beginning? A new beginning. For the sake of turning our eyes from the past and toward the future. <laughs> They're so cute. How am I doing on items, by the way? I don't think there's any fights like in the castle, but I feel like I should check my... Probably gonna need life bottles, huh? Hanaki! Have a good break. Thank you for stopping in for a second. Uh... Ooh, I don't know if I have enough for that. I might just do 10 to be safe here. Uh... should be okay. <clears throat> Can we upgrade weapons anytime soon? Um, Probably not here. I think the, we the weapons in the Mel Tokyo shop are kind of meh. But I will double check. Because I'm probably going to have to do some selling if I want to start getting some more weapons. Yeah, these are all gonna be like lower, lower tier. So nothing here yet. Hmm. We'll probably have to go to a different town to see about upgrading. Maybe Flanor would probably have the better weapons and stuff. I think we're kind of okay. The only person that I feel we would need upgrade score would maybe be Rain, because I haven't gotten Rain a new staff in a minute. <laughs> Actually, have we, like, picked up any new weapons? That's something I could check, huh? Ether sword. Sure, we'll give that to Zellos. Why not? Rune staff. Okay. Mithril. These do more damage, though. This is your friendly reminder that you should always check <laughs> weapons that you have acquired through dungeons. Mm, this one's like pure attack buff, but this one also gives more attack, but like slightly lowers accuracy. Eh. I like big attack, big number, big boom boom. Uh, Shadow Dancer. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good for Venus. Uh, poor Colette. I have not picked up any good chakras. <laughs> um, Chinos are all about the same. Kind of. Okay. Well, I upgraded the ones that I could. If I were a game dev, I would give the strongest weapons the most inconspicuous names. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the later weapons do get uh, pretty. Uh, they get pretty fancy names. Going into the castle. Oh, right, we're going to the church first for kicking up the Pope's butt. Screw religion! Copper axe plus 1000 attack. <laughs> oh, I see, that's what you meant. You 
you are late. Hi. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> what? What are you people doing here? We have something we want to ask you about. You're poisoning his majesty, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You're certainly a stubborn little liar. Is there an antidote? I don't know anything. Don't move. Then, let's have you drink this poison. It doesn't take effect immediately anyway. <laughs> Alright! It's in the drawer in the desk! Here it is! I've been something I've- I have something I've been wanting to ask you, too. Why did you try to have Kate executed? She's your daughter! Shut up! What do you know? Yeah, I don't! I don't know, so that's why I'm asking! Are you stupid or something? You have a half-elven daughter. Why would you take the initiative in creating roles to oppress half-elves? When I was young, I also thought the oppression of half-elves was wrong. Then, why? The church exists to offer salvation to all, does it not? Nice little kid sass there, thank you! <laughs> Are you capable of understanding the terror of growing older, while your child, who supposedly shares your blood, does not? That's not Kate's fault. That's the kind of species half-elves are. Yes, and that is why they are shunned. I understand the feelings of those who persecute them. Because my daughter is a half-elf. She terrifies me. I just called the guards. If the Chosen dies here, the church will be mine in both name and reality. Will the Church of Martell last without the Chosen? Hmm. We have Celeste. So you did intend to drag my sister into this, you pathetic old geezer? It's your fault. Why is a worthless and irresponsible man like you the Chosen? If it weren't for you, no one would have interfered with my half-elf banishment project. Why do humans treat us this way? Those who are different must be eliminated. Shut up! It doesn't matter if you're a half-elf, a human, or whatever. No matter who or what you are, once you're born in this world, you have the right to live. Just don't move. I am going to kick this man's butt. Hey, he's gonna get away! I will take care of them. Damn, you got away. Ch Chosen, I'm sorry. Please prepare yourself. Glitz, <laughs> like, I think you won't. Ah! It's an angel! An angel has come down from heaven! It's the second coming of Spiritua! Look! Your heretical deeds have brought down an emissary of Crucius. <laughs> Everyone else is like, what? Chosen one, this must truly be. Yes, she is the angel of death and destruction. Spiritua has returned. P please forgive us, O oh great angel. Uh, um, um, what should I do? Hey, what's going on? Don't worry and just follow my lead. Oh, holy angel, how shall we deal with these creatures? Colette, say so you're going to kill them. But It's okay. Just say it like you're in command. Um. Um. Die! P please forgive us! Holy One, please spare their lives in my name. I will defeat those who oppose you and once again act as the Chosen to spread the teachings of Martel. Please. Say so you'll forgive them. Uh, okay. I shall forgive you. Did you hear that? 
The angel has recognized the Chosen as the true holy will of the Church. Leave at once and capture my enemies, the Pope and his private soldiers, the Papal Knights. Y yes sir! Revoke the wanted status of the Chosen and his companions at once. Yes sir! Everyone do as the Chosen commands! <laughs> You're so funny. Wow! Everyone did what you said, Zelos! We were saved by the legend of Spiritua. Is that related to Spiritua, the Chosen of Silveron? Beats me. If you want to know the details, go read the books in the church or something. Anyway, Spiritua is famous for saving a Chosen by killing a king who tried to dispose of the Chosen. Huh. I don't like what's going on now. Does this mean they won't be chasing us anymore? The church should be fine now, anyway. What's left is his majesty. We need to let him know that he's been poisoned. <laughs> she gets a title for it, too. She's so... I love my baby girl who's bad at acting. <coughs> the SFX. <laughs> I don't know why the SFX are so loud. This game's so silly. It was not properly mixed when it transferred. Wait! Princess, please let us see his majesty. I don't know anything about the return of Spiritua, but my father is sick. My father only wanted to protect Atheala. We know. Are you aware that his majesty has been poisoned by the Pope? That can't be. It's true. The Pope has run away upon being investigated for it. We must hurry and neutralize the poison. Please move. It looks like this is definitely the antidote. Ugh. Father! Uh, what? It looks like he's regained consciousness. Your Majesty. Do you recognize me? The traitor, Zelos. Have you come to kill me? No! Zelos saved you! Traitor. Yes, that does suit me. Anyway, we were set up by the Pope. We have no intention of harming Tefeala. Why did he say that? Why did he say that being called a traitor suits him when he didn't do it? Zelos, you're so strange. He's just a weird guy sometimes. Even if the ruling family were to doubt him, the church, soldiers, and citizens will certainly side with Zelos the Chosen. We have the return of Spiritual with us, after all. What do you want? We want to see documents concerning the hero Mythos and the Carlon War that are maintained by the royal family. They are stored in the archive on the second floor. Do what you will with them. Do not show yourselves in front of me again. I am tired. I want nothing more to do with the church's power struggles. You're just being selfish! It's alright, kid. Then, your majesty, we shall allow ourselves access. Uh... What room did he say was in again? <laughs> I was not listening. I read it out loud, and here I am, not knowing. This is a red room. That's all right. That's the where they take people to do a murder. Um, I know it's in second floor. Okay, it's this one. <laughs> Such attitude towards the people who just saved you. I mean. Can you blame him? He has been stuck in this power struggle. He has also been sick for a while. So this poor guy, he's just... He doesn't like knowing that he was poisoned for the sake of a power struggle. So I kind of get it. Where it's a hard listening to them and saying them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I find when I read dialogue out loud, um, I end up not actually being able to figure out even though I just read it. 
Like, sometimes you would think that that would help you comprehend it better, but also sometimes it just goes pachoo out of my brain. Also, one quick second. I'm muting my mic temporarily. Had a bad cough. Ugh. I don't know why it's getting so bad again all of a sudden. I hope I'm not making it worse. <laughs> I had a bad cough like last night too. <coughs> it was really bad. Please, I do not want to get sick again. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. He could be at least a touch grateful. Instead, he's like, I never want to see you again. I mean, who knows? Maybe he'll come around. Alright, let's start looking through the books. The Pope poisoned you know too. Oh no, the slow acting poison. I might be dead by next month, guys. It's so over. Books. It's no use. I can't believe we searched through all this and still haven't found it. Are there any other books? I'm not going to give up. There has to be a way. Lloyd, thank you. But it's okay. You can stop. Nope. <laughs> Ma'am. Good, good job, Colette. Proud of you. <laughs> this is angelic language? No, they're ancient elven letters. Wait, this may be it. I certainly didn't expect to find the book that way. Colette's clumsiness seems to truly be blessed. Mm. Professor, what does it say? Wait. In order to prevent the erosion of the Crucius Crystal, a mana fragment and zircon are fused using Boltzmann's technique to create a rune crest. Fibers from the mana leaf herb, when placed in the crest, protect against the crystallization caused by the illness. Uh, the rest of this is just theory. So in other words, we need a mana fragment, zircon, and a unicorn horn, right? And a mana leaf herb. Then we make something called a rune crest. Attaching that to the key crest will suppress the crystal's activity. But who's going to make that? Well, a dwarf, I guess. What is happening to Colette's body? It says it's called Chronic Angelus Crystallis Inefficium, just like Altessa's diagnosis. It's an illness that causes the entire body to become a Crucius Crystal. Okay, now we have some hope. But there's not much time. It says that epidermal crystallization begins within a few months. And the final stages of the disease can cause the body to completely crystallize. The internal organ organs start to crystallize once the epidermis is crystallized. And then finally... The subject dies. I suppose there's no point in trying to mince words. Yes, exactly. Then let's hurry. Cute girls deserve to live long. Where are the materials? My, my company once handled Zircon. If we go to the main Lazareno building, we should be able to find information on it and where it, and where it is stored. The mana leaf herb is probably in Heimdall. The Elven Village? Yes. I think I've heard the name of that plant before when I was a child. But the people of Heimdall forget, forbid anyone that is not an elf to enter the village. Why? seems there was some trouble between them and humans a long time ago. These days, no one enters without a permit from the King of Tefeala. I wonder if the King will give us a permit. Who knows? He doesn't seem to want to see me. You could try asking Princess Hilda. Then, assuming we can get the mana leaf herb, what about the mana fragment? What is it, anyway? Beats me. In the scriptures of the Church of Martell, there is a passage that says... 
The colossal mana of the great motherland, Deris Karlad, rained down upon the earth in fragments, giving birth to all living things. So, it's in Deris Karlad? There's no proof, but... That's the enemy's main base. Let's do that later. First, we'll go to either Heimdall or the, Liz or the Lazarino Company in Altamira. Okay. We have an objective. Hi, Hilda. You wanna give us a permit? Smiles. <laughs> My father says that he does not want to meet with anyone. But we have to go to Heimdall. The king is the only one that can issue the pass to Heimdall, right? Could you please ask him for us, princess? Zelos, if you insist, I will ask my father. Please wait a moment. Even if we receive the pass, Heimdall is not a friendly village to anyone except elves. I can't say if he'll give us a mana leak or... We'll get them to give it to us somehow. This is a letter from my father to Heimdall. You should be able to enter the village with this. Thank you. Princess, you have my thanks. Where is Heimdall, anyway? The Tower of Salvation is located at the center of the world, right? It's south of there. I heard it's surrounded by the Ymir Forest. Okay, let's go, guys. Yay! Ba, ba, ba. Oh, the wanted poster got taken down. Whoopee! We aren't wanted anymore. I think this means we, we can leave through the front gate of the t of the city now too. Oh, yup. Sick. No more sewer shortcuts for us. That was so many words. Yeah, the plot is plotting, but it is okay. Do the Lazaretto stuff first. I remember Ymir Forest not being a fun time. Yeah, it is a bit of an annoying um, dungeon space for sure. <laughs> Time to get a new brain sponge. That's okay. I understand. Uh, president's office. Hi, George. Is everything running smoothly? Yes, the business is. However, the sealed exterior mine was raided by someone. We believe it was the work of Varley. But fortunately, it appears that access to the core area was prevented. So it would seem. But it is safe to assume that there will be no more trouble of that nature. Farley is dead. Are you certain of this? In other words, Alicia was avenged through the actions of Regal and Persea. I see. This is good news. Are you here just to report this information? No, I have other business. I want to take a look at the records concerning past mining operations. Please unlock the door to the archives. Documents related to past mining operations should be in the left room of the second floor archive. I see. Thank you. Left room of the second floor. Left room of the second floor. The left room. There we go. <laughs> How much more of the game is left now? I, I feel like I played up until at least Ymir Forest. Um... I was saying this earlier, but I think we're about, like, uh, I would say there's gonna be, I mean, I've said this before, but my estimate for how long I would be able to beat this, because I usually play in two-hour-ish segments, is probably end of April or end of May. 
depending on how difficult the side quests are. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do as many of the side quests as I can, so, um, once I reach that point. Because there's, like, a point in the game where, the, where it's, like, a big open area of, like, it's side quest time. So, I'll probably just do a bunch of side quests within that period. <laughs> I will do my best to do all the ones that are available. Mm -mm. Um, so I would say probably end of April or end of May, depending on if uh, I have a hard time fitting in Symphonia streams. And I do want to try and do slightly longer Symphonia streams to uh, get through bigger chunks of the story once we get near the end, but we will see. I have to plan it out. <laughs> The last Zircon shipment was... A d Hello? Uh, what the... Well, well. What are we here? Kuchinawa! The Pope is gone. Varley is dead. Why do you still get in our way? This is about me, isn't it? Of course. Because of you, my parents and countless members of our village died. The chief has not awoken from his coma for ten years. I... I'm sorry. You think apologizing will cut it? I will never forgive you. Kuchinawa, if I'm the one you hate... Shina, if you're going to suggest sacrificing yourself again, I'll never forgive you. No. If I'm the one you hate... Let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel, as dictated by village custom. Do you really think you can defeat me alone? Well, do you accept my challenge? Very well. Do you want to do it here and now? We'll follow the village custom and fight on the Isle of Decision. Is that alright with you, Lloyd? I guess it wouldn't be much use to try and stop you. Thanks. I'll be waiting for you on the Isle of Decision. Wait, give us back that document. This is the proof of your promise to fight. Clint may die if we don't have that. If you need proof of the duel, I'll give you this. And that is... Karen's memento. As you wish. Very well. If you do not come, I'll grind this bell to dust. Sheena, I know how important that was to you. I'm sorry. It's alright. I just need to win against him. I won't run away anymore. We can go to the we can go to the Isle of Decision for Mizuho. Can we go later? But first, let's get the Zircon. Colette is much more important. Yeah, alright. Where's the Zircon? It says the last shipment was sent to the Imperial Research Academy in Cybac. Okay, let's get going. Won't run away anymore. Damn it. What should I do? Zealous is like, I have to make this about me now. <laughs> And before Yuno doesn't do the dual side quest and Kushinawa stays there waiting forever. I would never! The only reason I don't want to do the side quest is because I have to play as Sheena, and I'm not really good at playing as Sheena. <laughs> um, but we'll go to Cyback first, and then we will have to make our way to the Isle of Decision, probably. Gotta punch Kushinawa in the throat. I'll try. Ch Chosen one, please forgive me. What? I heard that a ten-foot-tall angel had descended from heaven. 
and devoured those who opposed the Chosen. Ten feet tall? Devoured, huh? Wow, I didn't know they were scary angels like that. Clint, <laughs> <coughs> please. Uh, that girl with the Crucius Crystal doesn't devour humans whole too, does she? Don't be stupid. I, I trust the Chosen, really. Good, good. Is there any of that Zircon left here that was purchased from the Lazarano Company? Zircon? I yes, there is. Could you give us some? Of course. It's in the next room past this door. There are books scattered all over, but you'll still be able to find it right away. I'll leave it unlocked. She is a bit dumb, but I love that for her, truly. We got the Zircon. Let's see. That dude was having a party against the wall over there. <laughs> okay, Isle of Decision next. Because I might as well do that while, I, while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, I may potentially forget. Smile. So, uh, gotta go to Mizuho for that one. is this way Uno never forgets that's a bold claim <clears throat> Sheena Kuchinawa declared that he will duel you on condition of leaving the village yes I know what happened? Kushinawa was carrying out Taiga's orders to act as a liaison to the Elemental Research Laboratory in Mount Tokyo. Why is he dueling against you? Vice Chief Taiga is angry, saying that this is personal. I'll report the details to the Vice Chief. Then I will go as well. I have that right as Kushinawa's brother. Yeah. Lloyd, you come too. What? Uh, okay. Shina, what has happened? Kushinawa desires the opportunity to fight me to avenge his parents. So he still bears a grudge from the tragedy with Volt. And you accepted this? I believe what Kushinawa says is correct. I am responsible for the deaths of Orochi and Kushinawa's parents. I do not have a reason to refuse. That's wrong, Shina. If you follow that logic, many of the villagers must also challenge you for revenge. It was an accident. It is wrong to hold on to that grudge. It is as Orochi says. I do not believe the chief would have allowed this duel. I made a promise to Kushinawa that I would accept this duel. Kushinawa says that he will leave the village regardless of whether he wins or loses. Do you know why? Only criminals leave the village. Shina, what has Kushinawa done? Then I shall ask the visitor. Lloyd, do you know something? Oh! This is evil! Ugh! <laughs> Pull! <laughs> the yelling. Oh, this sucks. Well, I mean, if you guys decide it, that's fine, because that means I don't have to. Um... <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I have to make the polls kind of interesting. Man. I think if we 
we were to tell the truth, it would just lead to him getting even more fired up and say that there's no reason for Sheena to do this duel. Because they would want to take matters into their own hands and, like, punish Kuchinawa personally. Meanwhile, being ignorant would allow Sheena the opportunity to do the duel, but then they would never know why Kuchinawa was deciding to leave. They would just know that he was a criminal and they would never know the crime. I guess unless Kuchinawa decided to tell them before he left, but... <coughs> Weird stuff. <laughs> Looks like a majority of you are saying snitches get stitches. If I was Taiga, I would have slapped Kuchinawa as soon as I heard he challenged Sheena. I mean, he does say that- they do say that he's mad. Like, he does not think that this should be happening. But I guess he doesn't have, like, that ability to just go beat- <laughs> He doesn't have the ability to go beat Kuchinawa's ass, I guess? So... It's just him trying to get Sheena to not fight. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed because stitches get stitches is at 69%. I'm very mature as an Oni, I'm sure you know. You are aware. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, just the chorus of nice. Ended and cemented in history. I can't now. As soon as I said that, it went up to 71. Who's gonna make the sacrifice? <laughs> 73. I was just going up now at this point. <laughs> That's okay. I'll let it go for a little bit longer, even though it seems pretty decisive right now. Whew. We were on the cusp of greatness. We really were. I probably should have just ended the poll when I saw the 69. music in Mizuho, by the way. Maybe it's just because I like the, uh, the aesthetic of, like, the Japanese village, but I just, I really like it. It's very calming. Okay, it looks like it is pretty decisively snitches get stitches. Got signed out by YouTube? Oh no. YouTube, please. How dare you? We are midstream. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll. Because snitches get stitches. Thank you, thank you. All right, we don't know anything. I don't know anything about it. If it's necessary, Sheena will explain. It's not my place to speak. Lloyd, thank you. If that is your wish, Lloyd, I will not pursue it further. Then, head for the Isle of Decision. Orochi, prepare the boat. Yes, sir. And who shall be the observer? I'd like to ask Lloyd. Me? What's an observer? Very well. Lloyd, please head for the Isle of Decision with them. When you are ready, let Orochi know. Hey, someone tell me what an observer is! 
Philip refuses to elaborate. Hi, Zelos. Well, settling things is better than letting them linger. Corinne's bell. I hope she gets it back. Sheena, don't give up. Regal, why are you hanging out by the cats? The man called Kuchinawa must have a deep darkness in his heart. You can't spit bars next to the literal cat man. Mizuha has, has a lot of unusual customs. It's fascinating. I hope Kuchinawa and Sheena can be friends again. Well, I don't think that's gonna happen, but okay. Alright, well. Hi, Orochi. Are you ready? Yeah. Kuchinawa has already headed for the aisle. I leave my brother to you. Look at Lloyd steering the boat for her. I cry a little. Stealing up her courage. I cry! Sheena, it took you long enough. So you really want to do this? Of course. Is he the observer? That's right. Lloyd Irving is the observer. Hey, what does the observer do exactly? He just watches over the fight. And when one side admits defeat or... Or dies, the observer confirms it. He and Sheena in Venice. <laughs> Wrong music playing in the background for a, for a Venice fantasy, but I get what you mean. Alright. Then begin. Alright, let's do this. No items either? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> um. 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 Did we save before this fight? Smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? Huh, good question. I wonder. <laughs> I just span power seal, that's fair. Let's increase my defense. Stores 3% of max HP. She's so tired to live. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Alright, well. Steady stream of healing. Um, and then power seal, right? Okay, so that's up. Really? Confusion already? Sheena, I would like to know why you are not moving in any capacity. I just want to know. I'm just curious. over. <laughs> Ellipses. I lost. Go ahead, Kuchinawa. Do what you wish with me. That's all you've got? Pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's you know very it's so it so is. I refuse to accept that a weakling like this took everything from me. Kuchinawa. I'm leaving the village. When you have become more powerful, we shall face each other again. Sheena. I'm going to grow stronger. I swear it. <laughs> again, Sheena literally didn't do anything wrong. No, I agree. Everybody else also agrees. <laughs> It's just, like, sense of honor, I suppose. Was it a forced loss? No, you definitely could win. But, like, for some reason, when I tried to play as her, she literally could not do anything. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. None of my attacks were actually hitting, even though I was right up against him. And then when I finally managed to start using, like, attacks, like, tech, those missed, too. <laughs> but no, technically you're supposed to win that fight, ideally. <laughs> you know Copium? I guess. I'm just not very good at playing Sheena, either. Like, I don't- I usually don't play her because her fighting style is not one that I vibe with. So it could have also just been that I'm really bad at playing Sheena, but whatever. Okay. Um, there's no inn in Mizuho, so I'm probably going to have to go... I can't go to Ozette either, because that's a place that's burned. I need to find a place that I can go to to heal, and then we need to make our way to uh, Heimdall. Save just in case. Oh, I know. I am trying to, uh... Find a good place to save. That's near the, uh... Oh, skid. Cool. <laughs> I wonder what the Pope was up to. Who knows? He probably wanted to rule in place of the king. What a fool. Well, anyway. Now that he's out of the way, I can relax a little. And discrimination against half-elves may soften some, too. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Just because the Pope has fallen does not mean people's minds will change that easily. And that's why they've got me to help. The Great Zelos, friend of half-elves. <laughs> His face jumping forward. The kingdom still has some rough days ahead of it. <laughs> Regal's like, if you are in any sort of position of power, we are doomed. It is truly over. Do I really have to save in freaking Cyback? I mean, there's nothing else that's close to the Heimdall Ymir Forest area, so I guess I gotta, but... Man. Kingdom is so over. <laughs> Health, so I don't necessarily have to like rest rest. I just need to save. I probably could have saved like outside of the forest too. I'm probably gonna do that as well, but this is just like an emergency save. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. So I think Heimdall is on this continent, so it's this way. Yep. No, I'm not trying to land on it yet. There we go. Oh, there's a skid over there. I wonder who it's for. Because I'm too lazy to walk. Oh, it's one for rain. Okay, sick. Why can't you swim, Professor? I can swim. Liar. You're afraid of the water. I am not afraid. <laughs> what 
part of this is classic Buno, the fact that I didn't want to walk, or the fact that I wanted to go to the skit instead of progressing the story. Either way, you're technically correct. Is this the fabled beach episode? No. Not yet. It's, it's a side quest. There is one. There is one. We're just not there yet. Um... Okay. Poll for you children. <laughs> we must learn her inner psyche. <laughs> oh, the not walking. Yeah, that is very, that is very, you know, core of me. Correct. Have you seen these, Geta? It's so hard to walk. I have a feeling you guys are going to want to be sensitive towards rain, so I don't really know why I made it a poll, but I figured I would. I did promise all of these skits would be polls so we could determine affection levels. <laughs> you see, if it was Sheena, it would be the same. This is also true. The same thing would happen with the Sheena skits. You are correct. Simping for Rain and for Sheena. I get it though. <laughs> they are good girls, so I understand. Sensitivity is sweeping right now. It really is. I'm not surprised though. Like I said, I know how much uh I know how much the Dominachi enjoy Rain. I'll definitely be more inclined to bully Sheena. No! Don't bully Sheena! She's baby. Don't do that to her. <laughs> but if you able to find that she's lame in purple, it would win. <laughs> Fine then, you're lame in orange. <laughs> Bully Colette instead. It's so hard to bully Colette. It's really difficult to do. Because I've had to do it in some of my older playthroughs of this game. Like, I had to bully her to get her affection level down so I could actually try and get some of the others up. But I was like, man, choosing the mean answers towards her just makes her look like a kicked puppy and it hurts. It hurts so bad. Would not recommend. <laughs> Because, like, technically... And, I mean, we'll worry about this when we get to that point, but technically you can refuse Colette, even if she's in the number one position. There's... <laughs> We're gonna be doing some, uh... finagling stuff by the time we get to that point in the story. But, technically, I do want to go through and see what all of our options are once we reach that point in the game. And then I'll probably... I'll have a save right before that point. So that way I can just, like, reset. <laughs> and we can decide which one we're gonna choose based off of our available options. Mm -hmm. That's my plan, anyway. I don't know how close we are to that. We might actually be fairly close, considering we're about to go to Heimdall. But... Yeah. <laughs> Bully everyone, nobody gets level up. Well, unfortunately, the fret the friend levels will still be like a thing. Even if they're low, it'll just take the three highest of our low options. <laughs> 
solid plan. I wish I was paying attention. At least you admit that you're not paying attention. <laughs> Instead of trying to pretend. But no, that's not something we have to worry about for a little while. I think. I don't think we're near that point. Rain blinking angrily at us this whole time the poll is running. <laughs> She's like, you better choose wisely. Okay. I think I will call the poll. Because it seems we've got our answer. Why do you act tough? Why do you try to act tough? Hmm. Professor? When I was with my mother and father, we were being chased, so we fled onto a ship. But the pursuers soon caught up to us, and I fell into the ocean. It was winter, and the water was painfully cold. I was swept away by the currents, and I thought I was going to die. I'm sorry, Professor. I didn't realize you had such a big reason for your fear. Don't worry. If something like that happens again, I'll save you. I'm a pretty good swimmer. Well, thank you, Lloyd. I'm counting on you. Uh... Holy wrist, never mind. <laughs> the fact that those two messages were back to back is killing me. That really is just how it be with Lloyd, though. What time do I like? I was quite young when I lived there, so I don't remember very well. But I do remember that it was surrounded by a beautiful forest. Hmm, I can't wait to see it! I think you'd best not get too excited. So this is like, the forest sucks. It's not that great. When he said I'll save you, it made my heart flutter. <laughs> then he gets it, he said he can swim good. <laughs> That's what it's like to be. to interact with Lloyd in any capacity, unfortunately. Like, it's just. He's just like this. He's trying, he's just like me. <laughs> Okay. Wait. I don't know if there is a way to save inside of the forest. I mean, there's probably like save circles as we progress through it, but I don't know if I want to start this dungeon yet. <laughs> I think we're probably better off waiting for next time. <coughs> we will enter the forest next time for sure. Going to Heimdall, we're going to be getting the uh, mana leaf herb there. And then the last thing that we have to do is go to Daris Carlon, but everyone's like, we don't want to go there. That's scary. That's where the big bads are. Which, fair enough. But yeah, so we will be calling it here for, on Symphonia for today. Um, tomorrow, uh, we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be having a morning Mizatsu. I'm just going to be chatting. I'm not going to be working. Shocking, I know. But that's because I'm saving the work stuff for my stream in the evening, which is a members-only uh, work with me stream. You guys will actually get to see what I'm working on a little bit. Just a little bit, though. I won't show too much. <laughs> I want to keep some things a surprise, but that will be the plan. I hope you will look forward to that. <laughs> I'm personally looking forward to it, too. I hope you guys will get excited about um, the stuff that I'm working on. And it'll be nice to have, like, a chat in the morning instead of trying to, like, rush and get some work done. Because my morning streams are, like, right smack in the middle of the time where I have to do my morning tasks. So it gets, like, it gets a little bit hectic when I do work streams sometimes. <laughs> so it'll be nice to make it be, like, a slow chatting time instead. Your branch of work is hard to show normally. It is. Um, it's just gonna be a lot of text. <laughs> but I hope you'll look forward to it all the same. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I am going to go ahead and call it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you have a good rest of your time zone. And until I see you again, you know what to do.